Yeah, was from the 500 mile round trip one day. Brownsburg School District Board of Directions will be in regular session on Thursday, June 20th at 7 p.m. Brownsburg Area School Auditorium. Falcon Drive, Brownsville gave for general purposes and for consideration of a motion to adopt the 213-14 budget. Roll call, please. Mr. Asset? He's on his way. Mr. Bain? Here. Mr. Bashir? Here. Mrs. Broadwater? Here. Mr. Delrose? Here. Mr. Dorsey? Here. Mr. Gammon? Here. Mr. Harvey? He's on his way. Mr. Terebeck? Here. Sorry. Uh, would you stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? <laughs> President, at this time we are going to present our superintendent's awards. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming on summer's evening uh, to. Uh, Enjoy the evening and presenting uh, our superintendents awards for our students. They worked hard till the end of the year. Um, we all did, and we appreciate their efforts, and we appreciate your efforts and support in what we're continuing to do here. So at this time, Mr. Burdard, would you please step up? Before we hand out the certificate, just a reminder for parents or guardians, we will be, once the students escort the stage, we will be in the rear of the auditorium. We ask that you just please wait until all students from all the schools have received their awards before excusing your children. Um, but at this time, I would like to recognize the students from Cox Donahue Elementary, starting with kindergarten, Jacob Davis. Aiden DeSalvo. Ryan Halushka. Cameron Motes. Harley Porter. Teeter, <laughs> not present from kindergarten this evening, we had Destiny Hackett and Lucas Stetson. <laughs> Grade one, Rylan Johnson. <laughs> Matthew Sethman. Charles Schumar, and Carolina Thomas. Not with us this evening from first grade, we had Jolene Tuttle. Grade two, Melanie Bohatch. Angel Johnson, and Ian Ryan. Also from second grade, we had Owen Halushka, Sarah Van Dibner, and Rob Vazbinder.
Congratulations, guys. Just to let you know that the gifts and snacks are brought to you by the Big EA. This is Goody Central. recognize the third grade students from Central Elementary, Destiny Foley. <laughs> Marissa Martin. <laughs> Megan Salka. <laughs> Dylan Stanislaw. Tyler Weibel, grade three students not present this evening, Trey Sean Butts and Zachary Deal. <laughs> Megan Cleaver, Raheem Dove. William Kiger, Amber Murphy, Melanie Schumar, grade four students not present, Gabrielle Batofsky and Aubrey Hogsett. And now for our fifth grade students. Madison Butcher, Sydney Cheatham, and James J.C. Welch. Grade five students not present this evening, Jasper Bogle, Kayla Costello, and Nevin Tanaka. Congratulations, guys. Now, at this point, uh, Mr. Nestor, middle school. From the sixth grade, he's not present with us, uh, Jacob Sproul. <laughs> Seventh grade, Jessica Vance. Eighth grade superintendent recipient is Brandon Dunlap. Good job. Congratulations. Now the high school. Mr. Delamores. The fourth nine weeks, superintendent recipients, senior Jacob Bavard. <laughs> Junior, Dominique Malone. Sophomore, Christy Bula. 
freshman, Kelsey Wolf. Congratulations. At this time, uh, maybe some of you have heard already, uh, but we had our Students in Action team, students that have been competing on a uh, regional and now national level. Uh, they just got back last night from Washington, D.C., where our team took second place nationally in the Jefferson Awards. Uh, the only school the only school that beat them out was a high school from Chicago with 5,000 students. So we came in second, that's a silver award, so congratulations. And I believe Mrs. Stella Rose is here. Stella, you want to come up with your troop? right now has all of the construction going on. And this year, these students were successful in raising $43,000 to go towards this project. And so we went to DC over the last few days and they were recognized, like Dr. Savini said. And so it's, it was very humbling being there with all of the other national awardees. And it's my pleasure that these students were able to bring this award back to Brownsville to give us even more hope and more inspiration to do more things in the future. They've made me designated speaker for the students. But I would just like to say that this award does not just belong to us, it belongs to the Brownsville community. Without the community's support and dedication and everything that they have been behind us, we could not have done it without them and all of their support. So I thank the community and I thank all of you. But this award isn't just representative of Brownsville, it's also representative of the Pittsburgh region. So you can say that we have won on behalf of Pittsburgh, Fayette County, and Brownsville. We're very excited and the prestige that this has brought to Brownsville. And I would just like to thank you again. Thanks. Christian Sessing. And Francesca LaGrosse. And not here with us this evening is Jenna Schumar, Brad Ritkitch, and um, Alexa Sharp. Thank you guys. A job well done for Mrs. Della Rose. Uh, you put a lot of time and effort into it as well as Mrs. Bellback. So thank you. Also, uh, to make an announcement, our entrepreneurship uh, class has been in competitions for the last three years. Well, this year, our troops, uh, our group came in uh, in the state regionals, second place in, in Pittsburgh. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the students that were involved were unable to make it because of vacation and work. But under Mr. McManus, uh, our students, again, have taken uh, second place. Uh, in the state regionals in the entrepreneurship program. Uh, so I want to congratulate them as well. Uh, and finally, uh, and I believe this was said before, uh, our video production class uh, was in a competition, or participated in a competition at Robert Morris University. It was a national competition based on style, based on quality of video production. And our students under Mrs. Woolwich uh, took first place in video production at Robert Moore. So three national programs, three national awards for Brownville this year. Uh, so congratulations to them. Again, those students were working and Mrs. Woolwich 
was on vacation. So congratulations to them as well. <laughs> Finally, uh, and, and that is the reason why uh, Senator Krasunik uh, was to be here this evening. Uh, he had heard about uh, the progress that we're making and has senatorial uh, awards for each national award group. So uh, hopefully he'll be here. If not, uh, we'll get him here as soon as we can to present those awards to our school, to our students. Uh, and finally, uh, Mr. Delarose notified me uh, shortly after school was out that uh, this graduating class uh, has the most students attending a post-secondary institution uh, in the history of Brownsville at 56%. That's unheard of in a high school. 50% of our students graduate are going to some type of post-secondary education. And that is a tribute to you folks, the parents, the students, our teachers, and the support of the board. So thank you and congratulations. Start our meeting, so if you want to bail out, go now. Is that normal in your household? Yeah, that's every day in my household. You, you just ignore it? You got, so you got nothing but drama in your home front? Yeah, that work. And work too? Yeah. Oh. I love these people. Take care, Lynn, baby. I'm staying. Yeah, I want to listen. I'm, since I'm here, I'm... No way. Yeah, okay. You should have been here. Yeah. Sierra wants to ask you something about the, your trip. She's, oh, okay. out, she's out there. I'm going to I'm going to sit through this. Oh, okay. We'll probably be back in once we get soon it comes. Okay. And Paul's going to take pictures out of that. Okay. Uh, can you come sit next to me? Uh, item 3, public comment. Public remarks upon agenda items. Anyone wishing to speak, please come forward, state your name. On agenda items only. Come we one, two, yes? I don't know if I'm supposed to talk now or not. Is the band on the agenda? What? Is the band on the agenda? Well, I'm the president uh, yeah. So, yes, go ahead. Right? Yep. Okay. First of all, I'm glad that the teachers got their contracts after they waited so many years. This is my third year that I've been involved with the band. This third year, we have no band left. Now that uh, Mr. Kovacic's uh, position is going to be open, and we have no band left. Is there any way that you can find a music teacher band full time? We had the young fellow last year, Mr. Johnson, did a wonderful job. He had three assistants. They did not get paid. We went to more functions and parades last this year than we have in the past. We are invited to go to Marystown. We have no band director to go to Fourth of July. Last year we went, me personally, and the other mothers took the kids out to Marystown and we did what we did. Uh, we are supposed to go to the Hallbrooks July 13th over here at Hiller. We did it last year. We had the half band director. This year we don't, so we can't go. Uh, we want to go to 
parents now, but we have no one to teach the drummer. We lost our drummer. And another thing is, we went to the schools, we picked up 12 kids this year, for next year. We lost five kids. Three was the auxiliary, the girls. We picked up 10 for this coming year. And we picked up 12 in the elementary school that are going to join the band. We will have close to 70. We haven't had 70 kids in a band for how many years? So we would appreciate if you would find us a band director that will stay. Not an after school director, but a music teacher slash band director like we had years ago. Right now what we have to do is accept Mr. Kavasic's uh, resignation as we the area. And um, we are advertising uh, in the Herald and Tribune of New York and Band Directors. So we have to go that process. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, item four, adoption of agenda related materials for cooperation of minutes. Motion by Director Terbeckia. Second by Director Delano's questions. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Item five, approval of the May 16th board minutes. Motion by Director Terbeckia. Second by Director Bain. Questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Item six, Director Bain, board treasurer. Approval of the May 2013 General Fund Cafeteria Fund, Title I, Title II, A, B, Treasurer, and Financial Report. A motion by Director Bain, second by Director Terabecki. Any questions? Roll call, please. Mr. Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Shaw? Yes. Mr. Shaw? Yes. Mr. Shaw? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. And Mrs. Terabecki? Yes. Item 7, approval of the following funds you have before you. Motion by Director Bain. Second by Director Terabecchia. Questions? Roll call, please. Uh, Mrs. Terabecchia? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mrs. Broadwater? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. And Mr. Ass? Yes. Item 8, solicitor report. Mr. Davis? Thank you. Education, Director Dorsey. Yeah, item A. I move to purchase four computer labs for middle school, high school, central elementary, and Constant uh, elementary schools at a cost of $6,250 per lab, 18750 to be paid. Item 2 program funds and $6,250 to be paid for the general fund. I have a motion by Director Dorsey, second by Director Delarose. Questions? Roll call, please. Uh, Mr. Asset? Yes. Mr. Bing? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mrs. Broadwater? Yes. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. And Mrs. Terabecchia? Yes. Item B. I move to approve the attached service contract between the Brown Memorial School District and Gobble Incorporated for the 2013 14 school year. Um, first five students, 15 per day, six and above, 100 per day. Motion by Director Dorsey, second by Director Terabecki. Any questions? Roll call, please. Uh, Mrs. Terabecki. Mr. Harvey? Yes. Mr. Cameron? No. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mrs. Broadwater? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Asset? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. Item C. I move to approve the tax revenue agreement for Senator Kennings Incorporated Partial Authorization Program for the 2013 14 school year. Motion by Director Dorsey, second by Director Carabecki. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Item D. I move to approve the attached elementary special education agreement for services for the Delphi Education for the 2013 school year. Motion by Director Dorsey, second by Director Carabecki. Any questions? Um, Mrs. Terabecki, Mr. Harvey, Mr. Gammon, Mr. Dorsey, Mrs. Broadwater, Mr. Bashir, Mr. Bain, and Mr. S. I move to approve the education placement of a student of Wesley Spectrum for the 
extended school year 2013, from July 1st, 2013 to July 25th, 2013, the amount of $2,645. Motion by Director Dorsey, second by Director Terry. Any questions? No call, please. Uh, Mr. Asset? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Bashir? No. Mrs. Broadwater? Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? No. Mr. Harvey? Yes. And Mrs. Terabekia? Yes. I, I want to make one comment um, on your education. We're paying a lot of money out for other agencies and services. Um, as you said years ago about our own alternatives, we save us so much money that we kind of just let the ball drop on our own alternative bed. Um, we discussed that earlier this year, but we were going to get that program going again. And I think we need to make sure that happens if it really is a cost saving measure. Um, because it beats, you see all the amounts we're paying out for all these other agencies. So I think it's going to be paying that amount we can do it ourselves our kids here. A lot of times our kids are bound to the bound to the places. Yeah, I don't know like where they get special with the Delphi and things like that, but I mean a lot of our own kids still go to those other slots. Well, that's that's one of the reasons why we minimize uh, the IU so we can bring ours back. But some of these were pretty much bound to be there. Uh, personnel director Delroy. Motion by Director Delos. Second by Director Bank. Questions? Roll call. Mr. Mrs. Terabekia? No. Mr. Harvey? Mr. Gammon? No. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Delarose? Yes. Mrs. Broadwater? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. And Mr. Asset? No. Uh, item B, move to accept the resignation of Mr. Greg Johnson, Band Director, effective June 21st, 2013. Motion by Director Delarose? Second by Director Bain. Questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 See, I move to hire Janet Taylor as a temporary professional special education teacher on step two, $40,330 last week for the district PDA contract effective August 22nd, 2013. Motion by Director Delarose. Second. Second by Director Bain. Questions? Roll call, please. Uh, Mrs. Terabekia? Mr. Harvey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mrs. Brabant? Motion by Director Delarose. Second by Director Bain. Questions? Roll call, please. Mr. Asset? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mrs. Broadwater? Yes. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. And Mrs. Terabekia? Yes. Item 
Yeah, we hired Roland Pat and Roland DMD for school business services for the 2013-14 school year to, to be compensated at a rate of $2 per student. Question by Director Delaro, second by Director Terbeck. You have questions? Oh. I would like to understand $2 per student.
Okay, this is a, a roll call on a motion to table this motion. Uh, is this a motion? Yes, okay. uh, Mr. Broadwater, Mr. Broadwater, second question. Mr. Asset? No. I wonder if he's tied into. Are you tied into the. Can you hear them? This is Broadwater? Yeah. I guess not. No, to table, yes. I have three notes not to table. Appreciate you, and uh, wherever you go next, we'll be looking for your help there, too. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate your time and effort for this district. Uh, you will be missed, but good luck down up there. Don't give away any of our athletic secrets up there. <laughs> okay. Education program that saved thousands and thousands of dollars. This year, working at, with a high school, it's unheard of anywhere in the country to have a high school operate without vice principal. You did it. When you 
you did it in a stellar act way. You didn't say enough about it. Thank you, Rob. Uh, I think, Justin, you know how it feels. Uh, we'll be seeing Mr. Abbey up there, I'm sure. He's a South, South Park native. Anyway, good luck, my friend. Thank you. I wish luck, too. I, I just don't like seeing any of our administrators or teachers or anybody in a situation in a public session like that. I mean, it's a lot like we've been here behind the scenes or whatever. Um, our people don't deserve that. Okay, thank you. Uh, right now we're at item G. Uh, item G, I move to accept the resignation of Mr. David Mason, the teacher effective at the end of 2012. Motion by Director Delano, second by Director Tervecchia. Questions? Uh, just a question. Uh, I, I remember hiring this individual. How long ago was that? Four years ago. Four? He was wasn't he on leave for? He was off for two years. He was on education for two years. So, so he was off for two years. Okay, I uh, have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, H, I move to authorize the district to participate in regularly work to place two shot program. Second. Motion by Director Delano, second by Director Bain. Questions, all in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Uh, before we go to finance, uh, the principals, uh, any comments from the principals? Shut your dear. Come forward. You're bringing it. <laughs> oh, well. Just if you have anything, now's the chance. I'd like to say it's uh, it a pleasure working with Justin. I, I supported everything that he did prior to uh, making uh, the move to the assistant principal to the principal of high school and uh, I want to wish you the best of luck with this thank you Mr. Nesser. Thank you Mr. Nesser. Anyone else? Uh, Mr. Harvey, anything from me? Uh, yeah, that's for sure. I know Justin since he was a brat. Uh, brat. <laughs> Can you coach him? Coached him all for y'all. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's, it was a joy for me to work with him and uh, well, he'll be sorely missing. Appreciate him a lot. Anyone else from the administration needs to make any comments? Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, Finance Director Bank. I'd like to consider a motion to adopt the 2013-2014 fiscal budget in the amount of $25,132,545. Estimated revenues of $23,991,160. With a $1 $141,385 fund balance, setting the millage of Fayette County at 16.57 mills and Washington County at 91.13 mills. That is no increase. Motion by Director Vane. Second by Director Harvey. Questions? Comment. Short. Sure. Uh, Mr. President, uh, well, well, two things actually. First thing, I just want everybody to understand the fact that the governor takes a lot of heat for apparently cutting budgets of school districts. When you look at our budget for this year, uh, we're getting $16,560,000 compared to last year's $16,000, million, $8,000, right? So it's actually an increase. So we're getting almost $500,000 more from the state than we were, than we did last year. The deficit where we're seeing the problem, like if I'm not mistaken, is in Title I funds roughly $500,000 less from the federal government than we're getting from, than we did last year. So that's where some of our problems are. Uh, so the second point I'd like to make is, and, I, and I, made, I made this point last month, that we really needed to talk more about this budget. Have some finance meetings, get into the weeds with it, and we didn't do it. Uh, and I said last month that if we didn't get and start talking about some of the specific items that I, could, that I would not support the budget. I cannot support the budget at this time because we haven't had those meetings. And, and many of the motions that I voted no on previously for the meeting were for those exact reasons that we don't have, we have not talked about this budget in enough detail. Mike, I think you did a great job, but I think the board should have got together as well to talk about each one of these different line items to look at some possible cost savings. All right. The cuts, yes. the, the, the cuts definitely lost, they're, they're federal cuts. Um, federal money was cut 
they expected the state to make up that money, which the state really should be responsible to make up the federal money. Then the state and the federal expects the taxpayers to make up for that. Um, and that's not the way it should be. That's pretty much the process. And like you said, the state and the government court was getting a lot of heat. Really, the main problem started with the federal level. Um, and I agree with you. In January, I was asking for budget meetings. I think you did a good job coming up with this budget on really pretty much what was coming in, what was going out, with no direction whatsoever to the board. Um, I know I sound like a broken record a lot. The board should be more involved in the budget, giving you direction. Um, because that's how, three times since I've been on this board, that we've gone from a fund balance to, oh my God, we need to raise taxes, we have no money. And I hope in the next year, we're going to have um, some meetings to go through suggestions of maybe cuts or changes that we have to do, because we need to do that, because we do see the possibility of less money coming in. So we need to be prepared for that for the next budget. Um, we were given this budget what, four days before the planning session where we were supposed to vote on the county budget. Um, no real meetings. It was just here, here it is. Do you want it or not? Um, I can't support it either. I, although I totally agree with no tax increase. But for that reason, I mean, we, we had no participation in this. Mike, is this a final budget? This will be a final budget. And I, and I understand, too, we can reopen and, and, and relook at this budget at any time through the year. Look, I, no, you well, reopen. Um, once the government, once the once they official money comes, 30 days to reopen the business. Right. We don't know. This is ten. This is what projected is, and then when the state out, when the state passes theirs, hopefully next week, and we know exactly what we're getting, then we can reopen. Is that, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll give you 30 days to reopen. We'll have a meeting to talk. Unfortunately, that was that, that was said like there was no financial budget. There was one. There, there was one. one. And, 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 and the one that there was, only two people showed up. I'm correct. But so that, it's, it's like it was that was right before it was. In fact, it was when it was handed to the board. In January, I asked for meetings. In February, I asked for meetings. We had no meetings. That's what I'm trying to say. This, it's our job as the board to give direction and uh, try, try to protect the taxpayers' money. Well, we did Just say, okay, we're going, we're going to. Um, eat up some fund balance and do this and do that. That's the way it's going to go. But we, we never actually looked into the budget. Andy, we did have a meeting in the winter. In the winter? Wait. We, had, we had one. Oh, yeah, and, uh, one me, John, okay. and one other okay. person showed up. It was you, yeah. Cheryl. February, March, April. So two meetings, really. Two meetings is an opportunity. It's hard to schedule a meeting when nobody can come. Okay. Okay. Let me say that a lot of the restraints did not happen in the last few. They've been over the last two or three years that this board has buckled down to have a fund balance because we were definitely in the red. Agreed. Again, I, I think it's great. I think we're yeah. financially stable. Again, I, again I, I made a comment last month that no meeting, I can't support it. As compared to other districts, as compared to other districts, I think we still stand very well against districts outside our area who are in the red. We are in the black because of the last two years, three years of all of us making the cuts, tough cuts, tough cuts. They're beginning to show now. Still, there's work to be done. There's no question about That's that. That's what I'm saying. We got to um, we got to be proactive on this. Um, you know, one of the biggest battles we got, guys, is you, you, you got to remember. You know, it's like you said, you know, we get five hundred thousand here, but we lose five hundred thousand there. But the cost of living, we give our teachers raises, our administration raises. Everybody got cost of living raises that goes on there. You know, we're going to spend five hundred thousand dollars more next year in salaries. Okay, but there's nowhere in that budget where we get to make that up. That means we got to take it away from something, or we got to find a new restraint. And that's what that's pretty much what we've been doing for the last two years of treading water. I mean, that's that's the real facts. Okay, well, I have a we get some more. Sorry, Mr. President, I just have one more comment, and, and I respect what you're saying, and I understand this will be having some rules, but in lieu of having formal meetings, and I've said it before, not just for finance, but buildings and grounds, personnel. You know, people will take these chair positions and we trust them, you know, to be working with the people that they need to and make the good decisions and come to us with, with informed information as board members. And, and myself as a board member trust that, that that's occurring and that the information I'm getting I can I can trust from Mr. Giuliani, from Mr. Bain, myself involved in the limited meetings. 
So I can support the meeting based on that and saying, okay, this information, they're working on it, they're, they're meeting at the right intervals and putting the right information out there. So, um, yes, you know, do we have enough meetings? I, I agree, probably not. But I, I am comfortable that the work that needs to be done is being done uh, confidently. confidently. When I asked for the meetings prior, it was always said, oh, we really can't have a meeting yet because we don't know what the state's going to give us, we don't know where we get. So then, like I said then, you figure, well, we're not getting anything in the work, we work with what we have. Then at least we have a template in place to move with. Um, just be proactive. I, I, Twenty five million dollars is a lot of money. I really yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, and I understand, I understand what you're saying. Well, you're saying, you're saying, you're saying, you're saying, you're saying trust in the committee members, but we've done that in the past, and three times in the past yeah. since I've been on the board when we did that, we went in debt. I mean, all of us got to be on that. I agree. Yeah, the committee members should spearhead that, but we all got to be on point. I agree on the finances of this district. Yeah, it's committee members. I'm not raising anybody else's taxes. Yeah, it's committee members and, and administrators working in conjunction. My fear is next year somebody's going to come to the board and say, hey, we need to raise taxes. Well, don't do that. We as a board need to do something so we don't get to that. I have a motion in a second, correct? Yes, a motion by Mr. Bain, second by Mr. Harvey. Okay, roll call, please. Uh, Mrs. Terabecki? No. Mr. Harvey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? No. Mr. Dorsey? No. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mrs. Broadwater? Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. And Mr. Ass? No. Motion. I got a four yeah. no. Yeah. Four tie. Consider a motion to acknowledge the quote for computerized 2013-2014 school real estate and per capita tax duplicates and bills from Diamond Marketing Solutions for the printing of the Fayette County, Washington real estate tax bills and tax duplicates at $496 per thousand per capita tax and $496 per thousand per real estate tax. Question, is that the same company you did last year? Same yeah. company, same price, third year work. Motion by Director Bain. Second. Second by Director Delrose. Questions? Uh, roll call, please. Uh, Mr. Asset? No. Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Uh, Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. And Mrs. Terabecki? Yes. C. Consider a motion to adopt the attached homestead farmstead resolution for the 2013-2014 school term. You're making the motion? Yes. Motion by Director Bain, second by Director Terabecki. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Consider a motion to adopt the attached resolution of the Board of School Directors of the Brownsville Area School District authorizing the collection of the school property taxes and installments. Saying consider. I mean, it says I, consider. You're making a motion. I, I, I need somebody to make a motion. Motion by Director Terabecki, a second by Director Delarose. Questions? All in favor? Aye. I have a question. Sorry, I'm going to quick. Is, is this for some? Is this set up for people to make payments? On what yeah, same motion we've been for the last two or three years. But, that, but that's what this Thanks, is for. This yeah. is for a payment. Okay. okay. Homestead's uh, in this. It's, Okay. 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 Right. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I need somebody to make a motion to acknowledge the notification of the Fayette County Tax Bureau and authorization of the President of the Board to sign for the consent of the sale of the following parcel ideas for respiratory tax sale on behalf of the district. Move. Motion by Director Gammon, second by Director Terbecki. Questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Consider a motion to approve the purchase of workers' compensation insurance for UPMC at the cost of $79,316. I move. Motion by Director Bain, second by Director Harvey. Questions? Roll call, please. Uh, Mr. Asset? Yes. 
Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mrs. Broadwater? What's going on? Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. And Mrs. Caravetian? I move to approve the Ohio County Insurance for a package of auto umbrella, errors, and omission insurance at a cost of $85,919. Motion by Director Bain, second by Director Caravetian. Questions? Roll call, please. Uh, Mrs. Caravetian? Mr. Harvey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Axon? Yes. I move to authorize the payments of bills for the month of July 2013. A list of payments that are made during the month of July will be submitted to the board for the August 2013 meeting. Motion by Director Bain, second by Director Terbecki. Questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. One, one opposition. Uh, athletic Director Asi. I move to hire Mrs. Natalie Montek, middle school head cheerleader coach for 2013 school year. Compensation set up step two of the athletic salary scale. Motion by Director Asi. Second by Director Delarose. Questions? Roll call. Uh, Mr. Asset? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. Mrs. Terabecki? Yes. I move to hire Mr. Robert Holman, assistant varsity football coach for the 2013-2014 school year. Compensation cell step one of the athletic salary scale. Motion by Director Asset. Second by Director Terabecki. Questions? Roll call, please. Uh, Mrs. Terabecki? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Axon? Yes. I move to hire Mr. Larry Lamlin, assistant varsity football coach, 2013-2014 school year with compensation seven step two of the athletic salary scale. Motion by Director Asset, second by Director Bain. Questions? Roll call, please. And Mrs. Terabecki? Mr. Harvey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Asset? Yes. I move to hire Mr. Charles Moore as assistant varsity football coach for the 2013-2014 school year. The conversation is set on step one of the athletics hour scale. Motion by Director Asset. Second by Director Terabecki. A question? Is this a new hire? This is a new hire. All papers all in step one. Step one or two? So this is a new hire and all papers are in order. A motion and a second roll call, please. Uh, Mrs. Terabecki? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Asset? Yes. I move to hire Mr. Scott Roebuck, assistant varsity football coach for the 2013-2014 school year. Compensation is set at $4,400. Motion by Director sure. Asset, second by Director Bain. Questions? Roll call, please. Uh, Mr. Asset? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. Mrs. Terabecki? Yes. I move to hire Mr. Tom Zandella as assistant varsity football coach for the 2013 2014 school year. Compensation is set on step one of the athletic salary Question by Director Asset, second by Director Terabecki. <laughs> questions? Same question. All paid for in order. Yes, sir. Roll call, please. Uh, Mrs. Terabecki? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Asset? Yes. I move to hire Mr. Joseph Jenkins, as assistant varsity football coach for the 2013 2014 school year, for the compensation cell in step two of the athletic salary scale. Motion by Director Asset, second by Director Terabecki. Questions? Mr. Asset? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. Mrs. Terabecki? I move to hire Mr. Jeremy Thomas as assistant varsity football coach for the 2013-2014 school year. Compensation is set on step one of the athletic salary scale. Motion by Director Asset, second by Director Terabecki. Questions? Same question. Yes, sir. Roll call, please. Uh, Mrs. Terabecki? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. And Mr. Axon? I move to hire Mr. Philip 
Clark Trong, is middle school head football coach, 2013-2014 school year. Conversation 772 of the athletic salaries. Motion by Director Asset, second by Director Terebecki. Any questions? Is this the second coach we have? Yes. We'll roll call, please. Uh, Mrs. Terebecki? Yes. Mr. Hardy? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Dolan? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. And Ms. Drassen? Yes. I move to hire Mr. Reginald Brooms as assistant middle school football coach for the 2013-2014 school year with compensation seven step one of the athletic salary scale. Motion by Director Asset, second by Director Terebecki. Any questions? Is all the paperwork in place? Yes. Mr. Yes. Paul uh, Mr. Asset? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. Mrs. Terebecki? Yes. I move to hire Mr. Shaley as varsity head soccer coach for 2013 2014 school year. Compensation is seven step one of the athletic salary scale. Motion by Director Asset, second by Director Terebecki. Any questions? Mr. Fulvini, is that paperwork in order? Yes, sir. Roll call. Uh, Mrs. Terebecki? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Asset? Yes. I move to hire Mr. Shane Goschalk as assistant varsity soccer coach for the 2013-2014 school year with compensation to settle step one at the athletic salary scale. By Director Asset, second by Director Terebecki. Any questions? They have worked in order. That is my Monday night at the call every Sunday. Run from Run from uh, Roll call for me. Mr. Asset? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mr. Delarose? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. And Mrs. Terebecki? Yes. I'd like to approve a request for Mr. Ed Vaughn for volunteer services and a soccer, assistant soccer coach for 2013 2014 school. Motion by Director Asset, second by Director Terebecki. Questions? He does have his paperwork. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, Director Harvey? I move to advertise for sealed bids for cleaning and sealing asphalt at the middle school, high school complex at Redstone Stadium at Harvey. Motion by Director Harvey, second by Director Terebecki. Questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Move to approve vector security as the security monitoring system for Central and Cox Dodinay Elementary Schools at the following rates. Monthly monitoring fee, 1995 per month per building. Open close reports, $12 per month per building. Second okay. okay. by Director Harvey, second by Director Bain. Questions? Roll call, please. Mrs. Terebecki? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. Mr. Gammon? Yes. Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Delrose? Yes. Mr. Bashir? Yes. Mr. Bain? Yes. Mr. Edison? Yes. Item 9, public comments on anything non agenda items. Anyone else to speak, please come forward, state your name, nature of business. Anyone? Mr. President, Mr. Paul, sorry. Go ahead, please. Hi, my name is Mary Seeley. Um, some of you may or may not know, I'm a special ed teacher in this district and have been for a few years. That um, microphone? I just, I just would like, from my understanding, um, you have not passed the budget. And um, all I'm asking is that when you look at your budget, please do not cut any more of the life skills program. Actually, there's not much left to cut, but I would really appreciate if you would really consider the life skills at the middle school and the high school. We used to go out into the community. We used to buy groceries for the consumer science. We used to go swimming at the Y, which I thought was beneficial because of the river and pools that are in the community. And all of that has been cut. I'm not asking for all of it back, but I really wish you would consider some of those things. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Ms. Taylor. 
Anyone else wishing to speak? Then no one in a motion to approve. Wait, I'm sorry, Mr. Gannon. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know when to bring this up, but last Friday, I had a uh, Mr. Savini, Dr. Savini, call together all the emergency management, emergency management meeting, and I just wanted to thank all the. We had some Pennsylvania State Police, you had uh, FBI, you had Fayette County 911, Hiller, well, all, the, all the local fire departments, all the, the township supervisors came in. It's a great first step. Ambulances, I mean, great, great community involvement. I think it's a good first step. I think we still got a little bit of way to go to, to uh, develop what I like to call all hazards plan. I mean, I know there's some, some specific things that we've got to work out, but it's a good first start. I have, would love to see some more meetings and some more uh, going forward. But there will be this summer. Great. If there's one, I'd like a little bit better now. Hey, yeah, yeah. We, we discussed that. Yeah. Just My boss uh, hates me, but that's okay. <laughs> Just a couple of things sure. uh, with school ending. I know, Ross, your time here is short, but you, you've been a big impact since you've been on the board. Uh, it's a shame we can't keep you past that. <laughs> But anyway, uh, I want to thank the principals for a job well done all year. Maintenance, Mr. Harvey, cooks, teachers. Uh, it's, it's been a rough year, a tough year, but a good year. Everybody's come through. We've, we settled some contracts, uh, and that's all you're doing. Uh, again, the principals, the administration, security, fellow board members trying to work together. Mike, great job, everybody. Uh, I don't know when we'll meet again, but. Uh, just want to thank everybody. Now I need a motion. Mr. Richie, I got a question. Yes, sir. Are we going to advertise for principals? We need to get already done that. We, yes. Uh, Advertising for principal. Principal and band. And band. And then schedule it to be as soon as possible. Yes. A motion Should by start. Director Tervecchia. Second by. Yes. What are we going to do by budget? I said I don't know. Really I will tell you that I, I will support this budget tonight. If we can come to an agreement now, I'll have a meeting once we get the final. But we have that next meeting within 30 days of the final budget. We'll I have a planning meeting on just the budget, and then have if have no, a, another meeting to vote on. I will support after, 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 after the numbers come in from the state. I will support this planning because I still recall in my mind attending the budget because we are going to schedule another planning meeting and we're going to have another final vote on. Or sure, not. I mean, you may not do that. Just, just, sure. just for your information purposes. But we, didn't, we don't have those scheduled right now. That's right. what I'm saying. We don't have those scheduled, so I can't support it. Just, just for your information purposes. We don't pass the budget by June 30th. We live off fund balance. Okay, we're permitted, permitted to purchase and pay salaries up to our fund balance. So when we run out, that's it. That's not what we do, though. So, I mean, we've gone to June 30th and passed the budget. If that's not the case, that's what we'll do. Yeah. That's only with, you know, that's, you know, that's good. Yeah, we'll, we need to schedule something. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I mean, we got to, the reason I didn't support it, like I said, was lack of input of board. And a perfect example is Mrs. Seeley coming here talking to us about life skills programs. You know, without the board knowing what's going on with the actual cuts and things, that's what we should be a part of and looking at. How do we know if something in life skills isn't going to get cut in this budget? You know, we should know that because we're the ones taking the heat for it. We're the ones when we vote consequence those kids. So that's why I said we need to be part of this budget process more so things like that don't happen. I, I appreciate Mrs. Seeley coming and tell us. I, that. Goodness, I, totally I mean, agree with you. Only we're going to have, we're going to have a talk now, drag out fight about, you know, pennies and cents here. We, we get together, we have a couple of meetings, this thing is all real. I, I agree 100% here. I, I like the idea of having a meeting. Does anybody have an objection to having a meeting next week, next Thursday? Dr. Savini scheduled an appropriate meetings. Any other questions? Uh, what, I, I, I think there's a compromise here because I know everybody can't get in here. July is the hardest month. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm we, saying. We, but if we schedule a meeting for next Thursday, I would like to schedule a time with you, Mike. And if, and if anybody else can come, so we can just sit in there and go through these numbers in a little bit more detail. That, that's all I'm asking. Uh, but I would like to have other people there to get their opinions of it because you guys have been on this for a lot longer. Okay. I have a motion by director. Second by director Delano. To adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye.